What is up? Welcome back to my channel and I hope you guys had a very nice Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I hope you guys got a lot of presents specifically for your cars. So today what we are going to be doing is installing these M1, if it focuses in, M1 and M2 buttons. As you know, on the F30, 340Is, and 335Is, they do not come with the M1, M2 buttons. That's because those buttons on the M3, M4, M5, M6, those buttons are programmable, so you can kind of, you can set the car to the certain steering you want, um, open up the exhaust valve, and a few other things, the suspension. And on the 340Is and the 335Is, those are essentially dummy buttons. So let me show you guys. So on the M3s, M4s, M5s, there's the M1 button and M2 button. Now on the 340Is and 335Is, these are dummy buttons. So they do not do anything. So, what we will be doing today is installing those buttons and it doesn't add functionality to those buttons. So don't think when you install those buttons all of a sudden you're going to be able to program your car like you do the M cars. It's more of a visual um, add-on to the interior so as you guys saw in my last video I installed a red start stop button so that's why I got the red color M1 and M2 buttons they're just gonna give the car the interior a little sportier feel and um, just make the interior a little more aggressive so again this does not make those bu uh, buttons functional it's just purely cosmetic. Now also I'm sure you guys have seen videos of this, uh, these two buttons installed, but it's kind of involved. You have to take out the airbag, you have to um, take off some of the trim, and so for some of you who have a 340i or a 335i with the M Sport steering wheel, it's kind of involved and you probably don't want to get too deep into something in case something happens and so some of you might be a little scared off uh, about doing this but I have a way simpler way of doing this and so what that involves is these plastic trim tools so I do not recommend doing this if you have an M3, M4, M5 but I do recommend doing it this way if you have a 335i or 340i with the M Sport steering wheel because the buttons pop right off. You do not have to take anything off the steering wheel and so it makes things super, super quick and easy and then you have the M1, M2 buttons and it looks really good. Now. I highly recommend using plastic trim tools. Do not use metal tools when you're working on interior because that's how you scratch up your interior parts. So get plastic trim tools. I'll leave the link down in the description on where to get these. I think they're 10 to 15 bucks and you can use them on so many different things. And there's about eight different tools that come in the pack. So they're really handy. So. Uh, without further ado, let's get these M1, M2 buttons in. Okay, so we're in the car and I'm about to pry the buttons off and I'm using this pick tool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to slightly come in here and just keep pulling. And I know it's gonna be a little scary, trust me, you will not break anything. So all you do is just wedge it in there and then just slightly pry, okay? You don't have to yank on it or do anything crazy. Just give a little bit of pressure and they'll pop out. So let's get these buttons off. All 
All right, so there's the top one. Now let's get the bottom one. Now, again, what I'm doing is I'm getting right in this corner and I'm wedging it in there and then I'm just prying this way, okay? It's gonna seem like you're gonna break something, but don't worry. So you, you will not break anything. All right, and there we go. That is the bottom button. So on the bottom button, when you're taking it out, you want to make sure that you're prying on this bottom part right here, and then you're just pulling. So just when that button's in, you're just prying right here, and it will, it will pop right out. And so the buttons are not broken or anything, Everything is fine, and that is the reason why you use plastic tools. Nothing is scratched or anything. So let's get those red buttons on. So, and to get the red buttons on, all you do is just line the buttons up, obviously, and just snap them on. So let's snap these on. So the M1 button goes up top, and you just want to make sure you kind of have to go at an angle when you're lining these up. So it goes right there. And you're going to notice when you put them in, you can actually press them. But again, they're not functional. So let's put the M2 button on. So again, you just line it up like that. And they are in. Look at that. That looks so good. It matches my red start stop button. That is sweet. Oh my God. Guys, I don't know if it's coming through on camera, but it just gives the car such a sportier feel. Like that looks so good. I love it. And that's crazy that the buttons, they actually work. That's, that's interesting. But obviously, well, not, they don't work, but you know, when you press them, you know, it has that really nice um, button feel like uh, these buttons. Nice. I am super happy with that. That looks really good. All right guys, so as you saw, those red M1, M2 buttons look really good. It completely changes the steering wheel look. It's not a huge difference, but it's just enough to where it makes the interior look a lot sportier. And it just gives you that sporty feeling. So whenever you wake up in the morning and start your car, it, it just gives you that sense of like, oh, I kinda wanna go fast today. but. As you can see, you don't have to take apart your steering wheel to put those buttons in. So again, you're gonna have to get these plastic trim tools though. I highly recommend that. When you're using metal screwdrivers like flatheads on interior parts, it's just gonna scratch your interior up. So just spend the $10 or $15 in getting the plastic trim tools because that made that super easy. I did that in you know, five or 10 minutes. And again, and those buttons are super cheap. I'll put the link down in the description below on where I got them. I think they were 15 bucks. They look really good. They have a nice finish. So um, I hope that helps you guys. And again, you don't have to take apart your steering wheel. So, um, you know, that's kind of a bonus. So just to let you know, if you want those M1, M2 buttons on your F30, 335i or 340i with the M Sport steering wheel, that's how you do it. Super easy, nothing broke. And as you can see, these stock buttons, they're not broke at all. They are fine. So bam, that's how you do it. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Next video, I have a really cool treat for you guys. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. 
It's almost here and it's gonna save you guys a bunch of money. So I'm super excited on that. But again, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, please subscribe. And if you have any questions on this install, write a comment down below. I love responding to you guys and love seeing comments. And I would really appreciate it. If you like my video and subscribe and share, I would appreciate that a ton. Again, Merry Christmas, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.